It is a great day to be an American. Welcome everybody to this episode of the Freedom Hub. Today we are going to be talking about Abelor 12. Now Abelor 12 is from the Abelor Distillery over in Scotland. And it's, oh no, oh no. Well, we are just going to have to finish it then. Welcome everybody to the Freedom Hub. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at Abalor 12. Now it's from the Abalor Distillery in uh, Abalor, Scotland. And uh, now one thing that I was noticing, I was always told that this is a Speyside Scotch. Now all the Speyside Scotches are from the Speyside region and it says right there on the bottle, Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Double cast mature, 12 years old, but it says Highland. Now, Highland Scotches, from what I know, are usually very smoky, peaty Scotches. They're very robust. Speyside Scotches are a lot more mellow and a lot more friendly. And if you're just kind of looking to get into Scotch, Speysides are the way to go. Now, this particular one, Avalor 12, what they do is with that single malt, they they distill it and then they age it in the Amer American bourbon barrels. So all those used barrels from the bourbon distilleries in America that they can't use anymore because remember bourbon has to be aged in brand new white oak barrels. They sell them to all of the Scottish um, scotch distilleries as well as uh, all the Irish whiskey distilleries in Ireland. So that is how they get their color and that's how they get a little bit of sweetness and everything they usually get and usually because a lot of that sweetness is used up in that bourbon they finish it in sherry casks just like this one right here so let's go ahead and give it a pour and take a look at it and get some first impressions so i'm going to show you here what i'm seeing very golden Little flecks of ruby. We'll just, we'll just go ahead and empty that bottle. It's, uh, it's always a great day to be an American, but sometimes it's also a little bit sad. But it's also good because that means I'm just gonna need another scotch, right? <laughs> If you have an idea of what kind of scotch I should try next, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know, what should I try? If I like the Abalor, what's the next step? I've got a couple thoughts. Let's see if we're on the same page. All right, so taking a look, it is, it is gorgeous. It really is. It is one of my favorite things to see in the world, actually. And, on the smell, ooh, buttery, very buttery. Hmm. A little something else there, though, like clove and ginger. Clove and ginger. Hmm. Delicious. Is, this is really sad because this is just so darn good but we're gonna 
we're going to go ahead and give it a taste. Mm. Oh, yeah. 80 proof. So it doesn't hit as hard as a lot of other whiskeys that you might see. But it is very mellow, very mellow. And I, I hate using the word smooth because everybody always uses it to describe whiskeys. They're like, oh yeah, you should try this. It's really, really smooth. It's like, well, you know, what does that mean? Because what's smooth to you might not be smooth to me. You know, everybody reacts differently to the alcohol burn right off the bat. And like I told you in my last video, you want to let that hit your mouth. You want it to burn in your mouth, not your throat, and definitely not down your esophagus. Let it burn there. It'll open up all your taste buds to all of the different flavors that are going to exist in this beautiful scotch. I've been looking forward to trying many different scotches and it's because of Avalor. For the longest time I didn't think I was going to like it. I think I tried um, like a Glenfiddich um, like a decade or so ago and I was just kind of like, eh. Uh, not really my thing. I'm going to stick with my Jameson and I'm going to be fine. That was fine. It was fine for a long time. And then uh, I ran, ran into a buddy of mine. He recommended Avalor 12. I, I tried it out and oh my gosh. I really didn't know that scotches could be like this. And so I was very pleasantly surprised. you ever had a spice cake it's a lot like that you're getting cinnamon you're getting brown sugar that that clove and ginger smell that I was getting before you're getting that taste now too and yeah yeah buttered spice cake it's really 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 good <sighs> Highland single malt scotch whiskey. Now they only use one kind of uh, malted barley as as far as the uh, the blend goes for this whiskey, and um, that's how it comes a single malt. They don't use like different kinds, not like Irish whiskeys where they use malted and unmalted barley. No, this is a single source of grain. Now usually at this time in the video, I would go ahead and I would mix it with something. I would say like, okay, well let's bring this to the next level. For those of you who don't want to just drink straight whiskey, um, I try to provide alternatives to be like, okay, well if you're going to have it, don't just cover it up with something. You, you're going to want to mix it with something that will, will enhance the flavor or add something to it. So instead of just bourbon, you taste bourbon and ginger and sugar you know that's a good mix it really is but with this it is so friendly it is so mellow it is so smooth you're gonna drink it straight I pull this out for special occasions I really do um, there's nightcaps for a while but special occasions definitely so when you live in America and you're a proud patriot, you tend to have a lot of special occasions. So uh, this bottle did go um, rather quickly for me. And uh, I don't regret a single sip, at least that I took. Maybe some that other people took, but none that I took. This is an amazing scotch. And it is a great way to celebrate being a proud American. Thank you to all of our law enforcement, first responders, veterans, and active military. If you like the video, go ahead. Don't forget to like, subscribe, 
and hit that bell to let freedom ring throughout the land. Thank you for watching.